tomatoes that much. I just like uh, You just like being here, that's all. Yeah, guess what? I lost eight pounds so far. I never thought I'd be spending my summer with baby ballerinas and diet freaks. I'm just kidding, you know. Seriously, we're proud of you, Swifty. Tom, can I see you for a minute? Sure. What's up? Uh, hello. Why do I have to go home? Is somebody sick? No. Apparently they were very clear about that. Nobody's sick and there's nothing really the matter. It's just that... Well, you know the camp summer is in two parts, and some people only come for the first half or the last half. But who? None of us. Besides, you thought I was staying here for the whole summer, didn't you? Well, yeah. I mean, I guess I did. But this note says that your, your parents have decided against the second half. You're supposed to go home tomorrow morning. But why? Wasn't I doing okay? Look, I lost eight pounds already. I was aiming for 20 before the summer was over. You go home. If I knew, I'd tell you. This is just a telephone call, that's all. Well, uh, maybe they just want to get a look at you. And when they see you're all right, they'll send you back. Maybe they just want you home for the weekend. Maybe. Well, once you see them, you can start working on making them so sick of you, you'll be back on Monday. I mean, if it isn't just a weekend anyhow. Yeah, maybe. You'll be late anyway. I'm okay. Please? The folks will meet you at the other end. I just want to make sure you get on the train safely. We don't have to talk if you don't want to.
Can I help you, Sonny? You want them too? Eighty-five dollar, dollar forty-five. As soon as the parts come back from being fired, I'll send you yours. I'll do it myself. I thought you said I might be back. Well, I meant, in case you're not. Well, okay. Will you knock that off and go see if they have any word on the train? I just did, five minutes ago, Dad. Well, do it again and don't argue. Be stupid. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Where's my parked? Over there, only it isn't mine. Why? I'm sorry, son. It, it has to be this way for a little while. Is, is Ma sick? No, no, she's fine, just fine. Uh, look, let's get on home. Why'd I have to come home, Dad? Why? <laughs> Tommy, you wake Joey up. I had to stay home from summer school today to take care of Joey. And we were supposed to have a movie in history, too. What's going on? Where's Ma? Why'd I have to come home from summer camp? You mean you didn't tell him yet? You better cut it out, sis. For Pete's sake! That's enough out of you, Roseanne. But Papa... Not one more word. Will you please tell me what is going on? Nothing's wrong. Your mother... Well, your mother took a job for a while. A job? Well, just for the time being is all. Well, what about the baby? Who's going to take care of Joey? Is Roseanne going to have to quit summer school? No, no, no. Yesterday was your mother's first day at work, and Rosie's just filling in until your Aunt Eleanor can get here. When's Mark going home? It was necessary. And just when it was doing you some good, you do look thinner, Tommy. How much weight did you lose? I guess at least 10 pounds. Here, let me feel. Eight. Where did it go from there? There? 
Ma, what happened? Did Dad tell you? He's been laid off, Tommy. There's been a cutback at the plant. And, well, the way things are, we just can't afford the second half of your summer camp. Ma, I tried to feed him like you said, but I couldn't find the strained carrots. So I mashed up some potatoes and beans from last night. Did he eat everything you gave him? He wasn't all that hungry. He ate what he wanted to. That's bad. You should see to it he eats everything you give him. What for, Ma, if he doesn't want it? A chubby baby is a healthy baby. A chubby baby is a fat baby, just like the rest of us were, and some of us still are. Roseanne! Well, it's true, Ma. I had to skip snacks and exercise for years just to keep from getting fat. You ought to be grateful I'm able to put good food on the table in times like these. Oh, where are those carrots? I put them on the list I left for your father. Where are any of the things I asked him for? Sometimes, I tell you, that man, I left $20. He never even went. You never even went, did you? All you had to do was get a few simple things off the list. You didn't let these words go long. Hurry up, Tommy. I want you to go to the store for me. At least I can depend on you. Ice cream? Ice cream wasn't on the list. What is this? Whatever it is, it wasn't on the list either. And what's this prize? Cake. I can still bake a cake if I want cake. You know the way the things are around here and you went and spent our money on this junk? Is this what you learned at that camp? Maybe it's just as well we couldn't let you stay there. I don't know what got into me. Never mind. I'll get something together. I'm disappointed in you, Tommy. That's all I'm saying. Go to your room, Tommy. I just don't want to see you for a little while. This is nice. Real nice. Thanks, Eleanor. It's not what everyone is used to, but it's filling, and that's what counts. What are you doing? Mom gave me too much. If I ate all this, I'd blow up like a blimp. At the camp, they said it was better to take small portions and to eat slowly. That way, you feel full on less food, and you don't stuff yourself with as much. whoop de doo Watch your mouth, Roseanne. What have you got on? A kimono. Your face. Wash it. Took me an hour. Stop it. I don't want any more arguments at the table. Maybe I have pushed you kids to eat more than you should. But that's the way I was raised. You know your father doesn't like you to wear makeup. So why do you wear it to the table? I have to leave for the party as soon as I eat. I had to get ready before dinner. Where exactly is this party? It's at Doug's house. I thought you said it was at David's house. It's for David. It's at Doug's. Have we met Doug? No. You know the rules, Roseanne. If you're going out, we have to know where and who you're going with. But you said I could go. That's when we thought it was at David's house. We know his parents. Doug's parents will be upstairs. It's who's downstairs that I'm worried about. But you said I could go. Not to a strange house with strange people. Doug's not strange. No stranger than any of her other boyfriends. You can't go. But I told them I was coming already. Well, you can just call them back. Daddy. If she takes her brother, can she go? Ma. 
Well, I suppose that'd be all right. Fine. Johnny, not me. I'm going to the movies with Teddy Fryer. Tommy? Mama! You want to go? Yes. Then take your brother. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. Look, Tommy, no offense, but I'm here to meet Doug. So I want you to get lost when we get inside, okay? Get lost? I don't want to shadow Tommy. Hey, Roseanne. Hi. Who's that? My chaperone. Cute brother, huh? My parents used to make me go to parties with my big sister, too. Um, Celery sticks. I'm trying to get back on my diet and this stuff doesn't help me. Right. Hey, Roseanne. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, I didn't want to drag you here. It's not that. What then? You miss your friends at camp? Mm, I guess. Everything's so different since I came back. Like what? Ma? Me? No. It's just that at the camp I felt really good about myself. Here I feel like a creep. You're not a creep, Tommy. You're just a sensitive person. You think more than most people. What you need is something to do. Something that makes you feel good. Yeah. today and your father likes meat that's for sure and he does like a good roast i'd like to try something i learned at camp all i need is some brown rice black beans and some tomatoes
No, not those. Look, this brand is 15 cents cheaper, the same size can. But I never heard of that brand. You mean you never saw them advertised on TV? I suppose that's part of it. At the camp, they told us that the reason that this brand is cheaper is because they don't spend all their money on advertising. When we get home, will you help me make a meal to have ready to heat up when Mom comes home? Sure. Of course I will. Okay. Before we go, there's one more thing I have to do. Thank you. This is just the beginning. What's that going to be? Beans. For rice and beans. To go with the tomatoes, there is as much good protein in rice and beans as there is in meat. Well, I don't know how your father's going to feel about that. He's not used to that kind of food. It's not as if I'm asking him to give up meat every meal. Watch. You'll see. He'll be wild for it. Tom's done this all by himself. I mean, Tom and Eleanor. Oh, no, no. I, I just went along with it. Well, now, let's see what we have here. I can tell you what we don't have, and that's meat. That's the point, Dad. Look, this is supplemental protein. Looks like black beans to me. There's five pounds of fat in every helping. Wrong. It's terrific for you, especially in combination with rice. Brown rice? Sure. There's a lot of vitamins in that. And, along with the beans, it's a good source of protein. And it's cheaper than meat. Where'd you learn that? At the camp. We've got vegetables, too. Okay, okay, I'll try. I'll try anything. You've never known me not to try, have you? I just wonder if it'll fill everybody up. Sometimes I think we eat so much because it's there. Like the bread, for example. I really mean it. It's not bad. And we did something else. We kept track of what we spent. Then we got a figure for what the meal cost us person by person. The bread, the beans, uh, the rice, the milk, estimating a bit for coffee, allowing for uh, some fruit for dessert, uh, since we didn't use all of it. Oh, it comes to something between 75 and 80 cents per person. Not including the baby, of course. Isn't that amazing? And that's only the start of it. You've got more beans and rice every meal? Beans and rice? Nope. For tomorrow, something really terrific. Potatoes. But potatoes are so fattening. No, they're not. Unless you drown them in butter like I used to. <laughs> Bill, will you come and look? It's Tommy. You don't suppose that's the surprise he said he had in store for us, do you? Isn't it a little early for that? What if some of the neighbors are still asleep? I'd better ask him to stop. No, don't. Do me a favor and let him be. I don't think he can grow stones out there, but let him try. Well, what's this going to be? Wait, don't tell me. It's a garden. More like half a garden. It started a little bit late in the summer. Well, is there really any point in doing it this late? Sure. Even if the soil isn't in such good shape, I can still get something out of it. Well, I never did much with it, I'll admit. I never had the time. What do you have in mind? Well, lettuce grows fast. So do radishes. So do green beans, but it's a little bit too hot for peas now. They like it nice and cool, so they should have gone in the spring. And maybe this time for some summer squash. Oh, I'd like that. 
Good ones are expensive in the market these days. Mine only costs 35 cents a package. Hmm, look at this. It says you can harvest turnips right up until the first real frost. Same thing with carrots and beets. What about eggplant? I like eggplant. Well, it's a little bit late for that. Same thing with broccoli. Well, I can get along without that. Oh, why don't you stop teasing him and help him? Hi, Tom. Hi, Dad. How did it go? Did you get the job? No, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid they're looking for a younger man. Mm. Gee, Dad, um, I'm sorry. But something will turn over soon. You'll see. I kept hoping that something would work out and we'd be able to send you back to camp this summer. I hope you're not too disappointed, are you? No, Dad. It's okay. This was next summer. I think he's getting radishes and some lettuce. At least I think it's lettuce. It's Swiss chard. I don't like Swiss chard very much. I don't even like radishes very much. But you're going to eat them. I don't like radishes. At least these don't bite your tongue off the way the store ones do. They're really very nice. And this is good Swiss chard. And all it cost us was the money for the seeds. Tell me, is there anything you can do with radishes? I mean, aside from eating them just like this? I read somewhere you can flavor a soup with them. I think I'll wait for the turnips and squash. <laughs> Son, you did a good thing. I'm proud of you. I really am. Thank you. 